Welcome back to the channel, Den Members. By popular demand, because the 3A body armor video from a few weeks back did so well, a lot of people wanted to see what would happen if we taped two 3A plates together. So two 3A plates for a grand total of around $60. We have no idea what's going to happen. Frankly, we don't even know if these are the exact same kind of plate, same quality as the last ones. They came from the same seller, but who knows? And we'll be shooting some actual rifle rounds today. It's gonna be a blast. Oh yeah. So we have the plates duct taped together. If you remember from our last video, there were a couple of shots that we took that sent the plate, the 3A plate flying, particularly the one ounce slug out of the shotgun. Someone very astutely called out our blunder. This time we have the gel block on a piece of rebar in the table and the plate is duct taped to the gel. You know what they say, if it moves and it's not supposed to, duct tape. If it doesn't move and it's supposed to, WD-40. So the calibers we're gonna be shooting today, we're completely skipping 22 long rifle because it clearly stopped last time. We're gonna be just shooting nine millimeter full metal jacket. We're going to up it to 5.56, the M193 full metal jacket. We're gonna take a green tip M855 round so that is technically a penetrating round i don't think it's even classified as armor piercing but it is a penetrating round we're then going to be using my m70 ak rifle to shoot 762 by 39 then we're going to take a shot with the m1 garand again hopefully it'll stop it'll be really interesting and we're just shooting full metal jacket out of that one more thing we had a couple comments in the comment section talking about shooting more than more than one round at a piece of armor and that it is not an accurate test if you don't use a new piece of body armor every time you shoot around at it. If the expectation is that you're going to change body armor after each time or each bullet you take or each time you get shot. This ain't Call of Duty. Expect to take more than one round and you're not going to be able to change plates in between. So we're trying to make it realistic instead of ideal. If we had a lot of money and to do that we need all of you to subscribe, <laughs> we could do one round per plate. And yes, that would be a really interesting accuracy quality control test but these plates need to be able to stop rounds so oh our the civilian minesweeper is back here <laughs> cleaning up all the mess that we had from the yeah. rescuing of darren please stand by okay before we take any shots two 3a plates taped together logan aaron predictions what's it going to stop what's it not going to stop after last time's unpredictability i I'm not even gonna make any. I'm just, <laughs> seriously, I'm, I'm just gonna, it'll be what it is and I'll either be surprised or not. I, I, think, I think it'll stop the nine, but after that, once You still think the rifle, the rifle rounds are gonna? Rifle yeah. Rounds, I think we're gonna go through. I can see it stopping the five, five, the full metal jacket 5.56. Five, I think, I think that green tip is gonna go through it. I think definitely the 7.62 is going to go through it and the 30 out six is just gonna decimate. And by decimate, just leave a clean hole. We'll see. All right, nine millimeter at 10 yards. All right, right there, it's not even bulged. And it, it, it is slightly bulged. That's, uh, that's good. Yeah, two plates. We fully expect that to stop. That is significantly less bulging. That's almost like what the one plate did uh, with bulging with a 22 out of the the Marlin rifle. So, all right, that's that's to be expected. Okay, M193 full metal jacket out of an AR-15, 10 yards. Oh boy, please don't kill my GoPro. Fire when ready, sir. All right, let's see what we've got here. Entry. Right there, that's your exit. I this. can see the line all the way through. We're going to cut this off. Oh, yep. Cut. Ooh -wee. All right, so quite the bulge. <clears throat> and 
Still not as bad as I expected, but it, it's through and through. So. Yeah, well, I mean, a bulge is going to happen when it transfers a lot of energy yeah. to the plate, and it just didn't. It just yep. it, it ate right through it. Velocity kills armor. I guess that's the end of this video. I, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit okay. So easy conclusion here. Stacking two $30 3A plates, and I would argue two 3A plates in general, is still not going to stop a rifle round. Yep. We're still gonna do the rest of the rounds because I wanna see what happens to this. I think that the green tip will leave less of a bulge, but it's gonna go right through it. Green tip, 5.56 five, at 10 yards, fire when ready. Right there. It grazed the up. rebar. Yeah, no, less of a bulge. Less of a bulge. Such a clean cut. Yeah. Talk about armor piercing. Penetrating, penetrating. Next shot out of a YouTube compliant 20 round magazine through my ZPAP M70 rifle. That is not at all zeroed. Don't miss. Oh, nice. I always hit on my first try, Aaron. Right here? Yep. It had to have been. Center mass. Did it not? Unless it diverted up the side. It stopped. It, I think definitely the 7.62 is going to go through it. We are about to get so much hate from the AK community. Look at that. That, that bullet's in there somewhere. I have now, I have once more been shocked. Two stacked 3A body armor plates from Team U for $30. While it did not stop either 5.56 five, round, stopped a 124 grain 762 by 39 full metal jacket round worth it we are going to get obliterated <laughs> in the <laughs> comment section you guys did something wrong my thought is the 762 round is a slower projectile right. it's got a lot of mass i mean it's think of what the slug did to the one plate yeah speed kills speed kills these mm -hmm. plates i'm impressed all right logan let's get out the grand finale for you uh with the knowledge about the 762 round the grand finale <laughs> what we just saw from a 124 grain the 30 out six round is a 155 grain i think at 2700 feet per second i don't know the speed of the 762 i'm sure somebody can comment down below or i'll just we'll put a thing here a um do we think it'll stop it or do we think america world war ii america is going to punch through it? it i'm gonna say it stop it i'm gonna say it stops it stop or go through i'll, I'll go with stop i think it's gonna go through all right logan is shooting custom loaded 30 out six for the m1 garand logan you may fire when ready Oh! Oh wow. my lord! <sighs> <laughs> hey, you have a new belly button. Anyway, okay, let's see what happened here. I and mean, you're having a very bad day. You have a new belly button. <laughs> Hang on, did it actually stop it? There's no exit. Oh, okay. There is absolutely... Yeah, I, I wasn't sure if it... It's just gnarled. We were able to technically stop an M1 loaded 30-06 round with stacked 3A plates. The 30-06 is just going to decimate. And by decimate, just leave a clean hole. Consider where that was on the gel, right? Look, That's what the, look right what below the impact the did to the gel. That's just from the impact. Can you put your finger in there to see how deep it actually Oh, went? I thought you'd never ask. That's, that's it. So not, that's, not even my first knuckle. Yeah, but that's just from impact mm -hmm. with the plate, not even the projectile. And let's be fair, it came off. Yeah. I mean, in a real world situation, if you've Call of Duty stacked these plates, it's a joke, it was a joke. These are in a vest. They're not gonna be able to just separate and go flying. The energy is going to be absorbed <laughs> inward so i think that really concludes this um people wanted to know what would happen if you stacked two 30 dollar team u 3a plates it's going to stop a little more it's not going to stop 556 five, it stopped 762 by 39 and stopped 30 06. 
Goodbye to your bowels, though. Ouch. All right. Who wants it? That one won't even. Well, I might actually stay up by it. So <laughs> it's it's got a kick, it's got a kickstand. I think we're gonna just reiterate what we said in the first one. This is better than nothing. We will never endorse any body armor. For liability reasons, we will not recommend this. Empirical evidence shows what this stuff can do. Keep in mind, we're also not checking for spalling. And in an upcoming video, we aren't checking for spalling. If you really want to stack two, three A plates, obviously you're going to get a little more protection, especially from pistol calibers. You look like you're going to be able to stop some rifle rounds, but 5.56 five, is still going to be too spicy. Yeah. Hopefully Interesting. that answers some of your questions in the comments section. Now, we can go down an infinite rabbit hole here. We could stack three, we could stack four, five, six. We're not looking to do that. We do have some more cheap body armor. Stay tuned. That's gonna do it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Go check us out on X and Instagram. And as always, don't take life too seriously and make it a great day.